ladies and gentlemen welcome back man it's been a minute how y'all doing now um if you guys are seeing this video today just keep in mind that we're going live today Where, whenever you see this video we're going live that same day because um i got my new camera y'all so it's gonna be lit <laughs> But anyway, that's for later on. We're going live around 4 p.m. my time, PST. Um, but right now, we have another school teacher that I found. She's going viral again. I think it's in Oklahoma. And I think the last teacher was in Oklahoma, too, which is kind of crazy to me if you think there's just like a bunch of drunk teachers coming out of Oklahoma. But anyway, it's the same setup as the last video I did a few weeks ago. They bring this lady in, and this time, though, I can't tell that she looks drunk just from the few minutes that I've seen. So let's jump into this shit. You guys let me know in the comments if you could tell immediately that she was drunk or that they were kind of hating on her. Because this one kind of feels like, I ain't gonna lie, they were low-key hating on her. But let's go and check it out. Hey, how are we all, how are doing? Good. Can we clear the room? This is uh, Jennifer Davis. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, we already know who the fuck hard ass is right here. Can we clear the room? This is Jennifer Davis. Yeah. <laughs> we are six seconds deep into the video and we already know who snitched on her let's back that shit up real quick we already know who did it hey how are we all how are we doing good can we clear the room this is uh, jennifer davis hi, hi jennifer, nice jennifer how you doing you too. So, yeah we talked to miss davis a little bit about some reports that we've received uh, as late as this morning and so she understands and she, and she said she'd be willing to meet with you and talk to you Miss Davis is chugging that water, if you notice. <laughs> that that ocean spring, you know? She chugging that shit. I know she's trying to get her shit together ASAP. You know, which is why it's a beautiful thing if you work in the kitchen because they walk up to you and they're going to be like, yo, are you drunk right now? And you look at them in the face and you say, yes. And you continue working. That's th that's the beautiful thing about the kitchen. But anyway. Okay. Uh, but we want to give you all some privacy, too. So is this a suitable this is, Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just step out here. How are you doing from there? I'm good. How are you? Oh, almost the end of the week. Almost. <laughs> so what's going on today? Man, the... <laughs> All right, I, I'm not going to pause this whole video long, but I just want to say they're having small talk with this lady. So, yeah, end of the end of the week, huh? Yeah, you getting ready while they have the breathalyzer test in front of them getting ready to test this lady. Man, I'd be so I'd be like, you know what, guys, F this man, just take me to jail. I don't even want to blow the test. Like <laughs> anyways, in relation to, um, you know, drunk teachers, we got the mezcal, you know, Mezcal needs to sponsor me. A fucking a brand from Mezcal needs to sponsor me because I'd be drinking this shit. But anyways, let's take a shot in the remembrance of in the remembrance of whatever the hell this woman's name is. Name in the name on the screen right now. <sighs> Don't do drugs, kids. He said they had reports where I was drinking at school, which is n never happened. When was the last time you had anything to drink? Uh, last night. Okay. About what time did you quit drinking? Uh, probably about 10.30. 10.30. How much did you drink? Just a glass of wine. Oh, don't lie. Major. Man, I would say at least I got hammered or something. Like, a glass of wine. Okay. All right. Well, would you be willing to submit to some tests? Yeah. To make sure everything's okay? Okay. All right. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to check you for HDM. Okay, this is what we call standardized field sobriety tests. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, there's three of them. I'm gonna pretty much focus on the first one, which is horizontal gaze and astigmatism. So I'm gonna have you take your glasses off, and I'm gonna have you. We'll stand up when we do this. But I'm gonna have you track. My I am finger. so blind without them, I can't hardly. Can you see, see something like my finger about yes, six yes, inches from yes, your face? Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's try that. Go ahead and stand up for me. Hey, Thank I ain't you. gonna lie though, she's compliant as hell. I think that she thinks she's under the limit right now. Because right now, she's like, yeah, I'll blow a breathalyzer test. The fuck are y'all talking about? Like, I'm tired. Which is why I think, I don't know, she doesn't seem drunk. Like, that last teacher we covered, she was fucked up. You know what I mean? She blew, like, a .2 or something. But this lady seems fine to me. Heel to heel, toe to toe, arms straight down from the side. Okay. You say you wear glasses? I d yes. You need traumatic brain injury. Uh, no. Growing up or anything like no. that? No. Okay. 
Because sometimes that can affect what I'm No, I just, I can't see without my glass. That's all I was saying. Okay. All right. Can you see that right there? Mm hmm Okay. I want you to... Yeah, let me know, y'all. Is she fucked up or not? I don't know. Follow this right <laughs> With your eyes and your eyes. And I'm asking the question, like, is she fucked up? I, we obviously know there's alcohol in her system, but is she to the point where she can't function, is what I'm trying to say. Don't move your head, you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, just track on that. Okay, try to keep your head as straight as you can, okay? She's turning her head a lot. Sorry, oh, I'm yeah. nervous. So I, I get it. Okay. That's it. Damn, I see. I don't know what they're looking for, though. You guys let me know, because like I always thought you just have to follow the pin. And if your eyes properly track it, you're good. But apparently it's like a twitch in your eyes if you've been drinking or something. But I don't really understand it. But. Apparently, you can't really, you can't really, um, how's the word? You can't really hide it. If you're inebriated and they do the test, like, it's impossible for you to not display the symptom, so. All right, this is what we call our portable breathalyzer machine, okay? Yes. You, don't, you don't have to take the test, okay? But this will show the presence of alcohol if there's any Seven. on board, okay? Um, but this, again, would be your opportunity if teachers here or administrators feel that they smell alcohol on you, this would be your opportunity to prove this. Sure. Okay. Well Willing to take that test? Yes. Okay. Yeah, she seems confident to me. I mean, shit. Sometimes when you're a real drinker, and you feel like everything's fine and everything's cool, It's it doesn't actually mean that it's that. Like, she might feel actually normal, and she's like, yeah, I'll pass the breathalyzer, but her body's just so used to drinking the alcohol. Like, that's just her normal, you know what I mean? But it'll still show up as what it is on the machine. Even though that's your normal, if you're at a point three, you're going to blow a point three. Like, you can't, you can't avoid that, so. I've been... You've been what? I haven't had anything today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and if that's the case, or if there's nothing on board, because no, sometimes just... what you have, well, okay. if people have tied a really good one on the night before, it can carry over into the next day. So what do I do? As far as what? You said it can carry into today. It can. It sure can. I mean, if people get on like a week-long bender, or if they really tie a good one on the night before, you know, the alcohol could still be on board. But I can't give you any legal advice to take it or not to take it. I can do is offer it to you. And it's your right to refuse it. But again, I'll say this is, if you're saying you're not under the influence of alcohol, this is your opportunity to prove your employer yeah, that no. you're not. So. I mean, no, today I haven't had anything. But like I admitted to you last night, yes. But if you had one glass of wine last night and you didn't have anything else after that, one glass of wine isn't going to carry over into the next no, day. No, I mean, I went to right. sleep. Okay. That's what I'm right. saying. One glass of night's not, one glass of wine isn't going to carry over. I would have told them I got plastered, bro. Like, yep, I had some family issues and I got completely blasted last night. But I drank some coffee this morning and I came to work. Like, that one glass of wine theory is so bogus, bro. Like, come on. Like, at least tell the truth about how much you drank the night before, theoretically. Like... <laughs> So you want to take this? One? Want to I would just like to know who is said, like... Well, ma'am, that I don't know. I was just called by the I know, but school. I just... Okay, what's going to happen is when this thing tells me it's time to blow, I'm going to have you reach over with your mouth and blow into that as hard as you can until I okay. tell you to stop. Big, deep breath, blow. Hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Good. Point. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, it's still going. Uh. Wah, wah, wah. Wait, point oh six? Is that high? Wait, point oh point two. 
a point two is high. So O six is like that's like kind of tipsy though. Like that's not even point zero six. That last teacher blew a point two. That last teacher blew a point two. And she's over here getting shit for a point zero six. That's crazy. You guys let me know. Is point zero isn't I thought the legal driving limit was a point zero eight. I'm sure it's different for children. But she's legal she can legally drive, can't she? I don't even know what that zero point zero six. Is What's that? The, you are just under the legal limit. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, get out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You're she's just under the legal limit. Stop playing with me. So what's the problem, officer? What let me go about my day with my booze in my system and leave me alone. Like <laughs> So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Wait, wait. He said she would be charged. Wait, so just above the limit or just below the limit? What is that? You are just under the legal limit. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Under the legal limit? Just under it. The legal limit is 0 .08. Exactly. The legal limit is 0 .08. So why would she get... Okay, so now I'm confused. What the fuck? Which is DUI. From a .06 to 107, you could be charged with but DWI. I haven't had anything to drink today. Okay, well, I'm going to let Mr. Let me ask you this. Is there anybody that can come and pick you up here at the school? Yes, okay. but I mean, I don't. Hold on just a minute. Damn, bro. And I'm under the. <clears throat> hey, Major. See, that's why I told you she was so confident to take that test because she felt like she was fine. Like, I'm probably on the same level that she's on right now, and I'm feeling absolutely normal. But if they gave me that breathalyzer, I'd probably blow like a 0. 0.5, maybe a 0. 0.6. But they said you could get arrested for DWI if you're between 0. 0. 0.06 to 0. 0.07. So why the fuck is the legal limit 0. 0.08? I don't get, like... Why not just make the legal limit point zero six if that's if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get arrested for the same thing like that don't make no sense to me bro that don't make any sense to me I can have somebody come pick me up okay see um, let him talk to but I'm under the legal limit right so so under the legal limit just means that you're under the legal limit. It shows that there's alcohol in your system, so you are still technically intoxicated. You're just under the legal limit of 0 .08. Like, if you were to be out driving right now, and you got pulled over, and you did SFSTs like you just did, and did a, a, a breathalyzer, you could still be charged for DWI. Not DUI, but DWI. Oh, D oh my God. So they have DWI driving while intoxicated, and then they have DUI driving under the influence. Oh my God, bro. What? Okay, just don't drink and drive, kids. Okay. That's just Does that crazy. make sense? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. That make, that's crazy. I did not if know I that. Have somebody that can come pick me up. That is going to be. Um, we need to see what Mr. Kenzie wants to do. And then, um, Major, seven. You can space those out. Nah, they did her wrong, bro. It just makes me mad for somebody to say that I had stuff here. I've never. No. Yeah. And, like. Ever. And I know it's a small town. Yeah, like Major Mallinson was saying, that we have. We're not we're not privy to that information. We just get a call and come do it. You know I what I mean? I, I would. I did child welfare for years. Say that one more time. I did child welfare for uh -huh. years. I get it. Yeah. But just for somebody to be like so vicious to say like, I just don't get it. 
Damn, now she's gonna cry. That shit, man, I'll t Oh, shit, oh. One moment, y'all. came i had to um who he was waiting he was he was low-key a little angry he was like man what what happened i was like man i was i was recording videos bro my bad dog anyways let's get back to it <laughs> that's the right thing to do but it's also the the thing that will draw uh, scrutiny and criticism from everybody yep. in the community because she's allowed to go home with someone else and not be arrested. Yeah, I, I think the, the, <laughs> the thing we'll have to do there, just to speak the school language here for a second with you, is just she's not going to come back. Right. She's going to yeah. give me a letter if we're going to do it that way. So okay. I, I'm, I'm willing to, to go that way, or if she's not willing to give me a letter <coughs> resignation. And that's something you'll work out between with her. But from a legal standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and make the arrest. Okay. Okay. That's... <laughs> Man, you got people like this you're working for, bro. You don't need no type of enemies in your life. These people hate that woman. Now, I'll tell you this much, y'all. This dude and this woman right here, you hear how they're talking? Oh, we have to speak the school language? What does that mean? Oh, so we have to arrest her to, to send the message, huh? Yeah. These two hate that woman. I'll tell you that much. They, they do not like her. She did something that went against them, and this is their time to get back because remember she was like who really actually called in when she had you know when you ask that question you know you know who did it nine times out of ten you know who did it who called this in like who was so vicious you knew exactly who it was that's actually crazy though all right so you're gonna arrest her and take her from here so you're gonna arrest her and take her she asked like three times please arrest this bitch i hate her please arrest her i'm gonna record it like yo Man, some women are just on, on a different level, dog. That's shit. Again, there's two ways now. You can look at view and arrest as she goes to jail, or I could cite and release on her own recognizance, provided she's got somebody that's sober that can come and take possession of her. And so you're going to give her that option? Well, no. That's okay. the decision I'm going to make before I walk back in that room. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. And for us, it's, you know, it's nothing... You know, our job is not to judge. It's just our job is to do our job. No. You know, I, so... I, I, Trust me. <laughs> I was CPS. Yeah. I know. I used to tell my clients, I'm not here to judge you the way your house looks or anything, but there's right. a reason I'm here. I took some people to court yesterday that I had arrested, and he said, man, I really appreciate you still treating me like a human being. Yeah. And, so. and no, and that means a lot. Yeah. Mm. The snakes are in, baby. Man, one thing I'll say, the cops are cool as and smooth as could be, man. The snakes, the true snakes in this story are all the teaching staff. Now, I don't know if she's just a shitty-ass employee or everybody doesn't like her because she's just a mean person, but it seems to me like everybody on that staff is trying to get rid of her. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What do you say? Hi, uh, Jennifer Davis. Jennifer. Do you have your ID with you? And it's in your purse? Yeah. I'm going to need to see that. Okay. We're, I'll go get She'll it. She'll go where's get it. Where's your purse at? It's in my room in my cabinet. Okay. Is there anything else that you would need? So I can get it in Just my purse and my key. I mean, whatever I need. Okay. It's all in your purse. Uh, my keys are beside my purse. Okay. Oh, she seems, she, she seems nice. Maybe not everybody's snakes, but dude with the tie, ooh, does not like her. <laughs> Phone number? You ever see a woman stare at you and cross her fingers? That's how you know she don't like you. What is, what is, what is happening? Okay, Jennifer, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this is a portable breathalyzer machine. It reads a little lower than what the actual intoxilizer, which we utilize at the police department, it reads lower. 
this came up a point zero zero point zero six six. I have not had any. That's what I'm saying. I haven't had anything today. Okay. Well, again, and I don't know your drinking habits. Okay, I kind of explained that to you yes. before I put you on the machine. Okay, yes. if somebody drinks a lot, and if they run with a normal BAC of, say, about a point zero six or zero eight, that's what feels normal to them. Okay? When they get start to get below that, that's when the onset of withdrawals kick in. You just start getting the shakes and not feeling so good, and then you drink a little more to get feeling normal again. Sure. That BAC will still be up here. Exactly. Legal... See, he just broke it down how I broke it down. He's saying that just because you feel absolutely normal does not mean that your body is taking in the percentage that you just took like the percentage of alcohol that you take into your body will never change for as long as you're on this earth but your your um your tolerance can you know what i mean so if you need to be 0 0.6 0 0.06 of intoxication just to feel regular you know what i mean that means you're still drinking 0.6 percent of alcohol you know what i mean so it's like i get what he's saying there but at the same time they have all these stupid ass limits bro like you have 0.6 and then you have 0.8 the legal limit's 0.8 but 0.6 is just it's just you know we have discretion like i don't like that bro make a actual limit and leave people alone that's below it like she's not stumbling she's not mumbling she's not slurring her words Man, free Miss Davis, bro. Shit, free, <laughs> free Miss Davis. I don't like this. From standpoint, you're still you're still intoxicated. Uh, I'm comfortable enough to let you know if you were to be put on the actual intoxilizer that you'd be up around 0 0.12, 0 0.13 area. Okay. When I checked when I checked your eyes for horizontal gaze and nystagmus, you had every clue. You had the onset and you had the lack of equal pursuit. You had the onset of nystagmus prior to 45 degrees, and you had nystagmus at max deviation. Okay. If I had pulled you over, I'm going to be honest with you, you'd have been arrested for driving under the influence. Okay. That's what he was explaining. Yep. Okay. Can I have somebody pick me up? Well, I've got, a, I've got a legal obligation. Okay. You're here. Nah, see, this is that snake shit. And those two are loving this shit right now. Loving it. Because they didn't have to do that, bro. I promise you, they could have fired her or had her send her resignation and she could have got her man to come pick her up and take her home and she, she could have just cried to him on the way home. But no, you want to send her to jail. That's what you really want. Nah, bro. That's what they want. Entrusted for the care and safety and the teeth. Listen. To, for the teaching I understand, of these kids, okay? I... No, today you're going to be arrested for public intoxication. Okay? That's done. Please don't do this. I, I will have Listen, my sister come get me. I don't write the law. And I, and I will resign. I well, will that, resign. That's, be, and that, that's something you're going to discuss with the, the administration here, that I've made my decision. Okay? They love Zero this. Tolerance. Okay. I would just like to know who report. Like, and I did not drink today. Well, That's I'm going to tell I'm you doing. from a legal standpoint, when people call in and report a crime, of any crime, we're not in the business of telling people who made the report. I, I know reasons you behind that. Okay? I understand that. Okay. Hmm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find you in your bedroom while you're sleeping. Remember that one time you got me sent to jail for public intoxication? <laughs> nah, there's some crazy ass people who would do that. Obviously, you can't tell her. I mean, for obvious re for obvious reasons, we can't tell you. But I mean, just turn your head slightly 20 degrees to the left. Turn, turn that direction. They're the ones who snitched on you, dog. And the woman with her hands crossed? The woman with her hands crossed, bro? Pretty sure she's the one who brought it to Baldy right here. So, you're taking me to county? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just and take the L, baby the girl. Just take the L, because at this point, you don't cry in front of those people. Nope. I smile at them and walk out. Don't give them the satisfaction. Cry in your cell. And I think that's what she's going to do. She ain't, gonna, she ain't about to cry in front of these people. Arch. Hell I'm not no. run it through the district court. It'll be through the city to come through. So yep, shake so your head yes and move on like a gangster. Okay. 
Oh. Damn. In terms of your employment here, Jennifer, we we can't move forward. Man, shut up. A teacher here. We know. Okay. If you want to resign, um, that's your option. Um, if you choose not to, though, I would be forced to go to the board and ask for your termination based on the outcome of today. So, uh, you know, anytime a... I would like to resign. Man, Freeman Davis, bro. I don't know, dog. That shit's that shit's all types of fucked up. I don't know. Can I not be a rest like handcuffed out, please? I'm not gonna run on you. Well, I know that. I know that. But it is this is the police department operates under policies and procedures. And I can't treat you any di more different than anybody else. Or we're setting ourselves up for liability. That's okay. fine. But it's now, just, I'm not going to run you down the hallways and trade you through. My child is in the third grade hall. Where, where's the classroom window at? I, it does it face out to this no, parking lot right here? I don't know. No? Okay. No. We'll be okay there. You could tell she's a sweet lady, bro. But I, I could tell also that she got a mouth on her, too. She made some enemies out here. Because if she was, I'll tell you this, if she was close with everybody else in that, in this building, this this day wouldn't have happened. Somebody would have told her, been like, hey, girl, I know you're drinking. You're going to need to cut that shit out. We, we love you, this and that. But she made enemies, bro. Probably over the kids, you know, over whatever, whatever. Parent, teacher, con you know, petty shit happens every day. But somebody wanted her out of here. And I'm thinking Miss Crossed Hands, the entire fucking meeting is the main character of this story who got her arrested. Yeah, I can get it. I'll get it for you. Okay. Once you're in custody, we have to search all belongings, okay? Is there anything in here I need to know about? Just my medication that I take daily. Okay. Can I? Con Go ahead, Frank. My, it's so messy, but on my side is where my license is. Man, they're going through her shit. Clear. You see that woman? Her hands are still crossed looking at her. Bro, I can't. Yeah, she's definitely the snitch. Hands crossed the entire time. Release, and there's a good chance that once this gets reported, then uh, there will be statements we'll have to release, and notes we'll have to send home to parents, and then news reporters will probably show up. Uh, I will be as discreet as I can in, in terms of how I handle Could it. Could we, please, I've never been in trouble in my life. I understand, it, but again, that's not, not up to me. I'm not going to go pushing anything out there until they show up if that happens, okay? You did not. But we, we've got to respond and, and you know, let people know that we follow our policy and have to involve the police department. Yes. Man, I'm starting to have a different feeling about Baldy, man. He's he's all right. He's all right. I feel like he's like, to be honest, man, it could be somebody outside of this room, but that woman in the back with her hands crossed in the white this whole time, I think is the main character. And this dude just has to comply with, you know, school regulations. But, you know, it's unfortunate. Freemus Davis, man. Hashtag free Davis. Where is your fob, Jennifer? After the it was on my keys. Okay. Look at her. Okay. Isn't her last right? Look at her. She can't wait to take her shit back. It's her. Yes. She can't wait to take her shit back. Yeah, it's that one. That. Yep. Let me, let me take that. Let me strip her of all her pride and dignity. Yes. Yes. The classroom keys are the ones that are connected to that green. That was right there. Okay. I promise you she's going to reach over and take it. Watch. She's going to reach over. There she goes. Uh-huh. Yeah. You were hot to reach over and take that shit, huh? And yeah, is that all of it for the school? Jennifer, is your, uh, yes. uh, your school device here at school? Uh, yes. It's in the system. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm going to cut it right there. They just, you know, they take her down the walk of shame. As usual, that shit's crazy. But the other teacher, like I said, that we covered, 
she needed help. This woman was walking around as a point to all day. But this lady, bro, I feel like they were a bunch of haters in that school and they fired her or got her arrested and forced her to resign because they didn't like her. I mean, sue me for thinking that, but you can't tell me you haven't gone to work a little tipsy before in your life. Like, come on now. Like, I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, I love you guys, man. We are we're basically 10k today. I think we're we're going to hit 10 10k today, so I love you guys. It's amazing. We're going to 20k. This shit's this shit's going to be amazing, man. Like, so um you know, keep in mind, we're going live later on. We're going to bullshit. We're going to talk. We're going to do all that stuff. And um, again, I appreciate all the support, y'all. I'm going to see you in the next one. Stay inside. Stay safe. I'm out of here.